Welcome to the latest video of the series How to Paint Your Dark Souls Miniature. Today we will cover the steps to paint the Stone Guardian from the Dark Root expansion. If you like this tutorial, you will find much more Dark Souls content, other board game unboxing, how to play videos and reviews on this channel. So if you're new, welcome and consider subscribing to always receive the latest updates. As we start our painting guide, I'll be using the Dark Souls Trilogy Compendium for the colors reference. Whenever I can, I try to make my miniatures as close as possible from the game. Stone Guardians are large, animated suits of armor made of stone. The stone's color is more towards the brown tone, almost like a sandstone. They carry a beautiful great axe made of a different type of stone, this one with a gray tone. To cover all of that, they have a plenty of leather straps and a dirty cloth skirt. To start this project, you need Abaddon Black, Catacomb Flesh, Corox White, Gogfag Brown, Longbeard Grey, Mornfang Brown, Seraphine Sapia, Zandri Dust, and Black Primer. Speaking of Black Primer, that will be our first step. I detail the process of repairing the miniatures in another video. So don't forget to check it out before we start painting. For the stone base, I'll be using a mix of Zendry Dust and Catacomb Flesh. The axe tip is a mix of Abaddon Black and Corax White, but you can use Mechanicus Standard Grey if you have it. The axe handle is made of pure Catacomb Flesh. The axe bottom straps is painted with Mornfang Brown, and the skirt base is done with Corex White. We will then paint the leather straps and the satchel base with the Mornfang Brown. Once the model is dry, dry brush everything except the grey axe tip with Gogfag Brown. Let it dry and dry brush the axe tip with Longbeard Grey. You can also use this opportunity to paint the wood of the axe tip with the catacomb flash base and dry brush with gold fag brown, being careful not to go over the finalized gray areas. To finish the skirt, paint the belt with the mornfang brown. The final step is shading all the mornfang areas, including the corex white from the skirt, with seraphine sepia. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.